<laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. Nigeria has its own fragrance brand. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel, Roots Gifted Hands. I'm super excited that you're here. Now that I've got your attention, well, let's get straight to this video. Today is probably one of the most exciting videos I have done till date. And the reason is because I found a black owned, but not just black owned, an African owned, and not just African, but Nigerian owned fragrance brand. I never knew anything like this existed. So let me backtrack in case you're not aware. I am of Nigerian descent, proudly as well. And so once I discovered that Nigeria had its own fragrance brand, it's only fitting that I represent my Nigerian brand. And I'm so excited. So how did I come about knowing that they were Nigerian fragrance brands? I was watching a Nigerian YouTuber that I enjoy, and in there she mentioned this brand. And as soon as she mentioned it, I was like, hold up, that's a Nigerian. Where can I get this fragrance? So I went to her Instagram page and I looked her up. I sent her a message and that was how this whole journey began. So I messaged all of the brands that I'm sharing with you today and they were kind enough to send me some or a lot of their fragrances. And so I'm like a kid in a candy store and I'm ready to share this with you guys. Are you ready? No, it doesn't seem like you're ready. So I'm gonna give you a minute. Let me know when you're ready. Uh oh, you ready? Okay, let's start. And now before I tell you about these fragrances, I didn't explore it alone. I have a special guest, I call her my YouTube bestie, and I flew all the way from Dallas, Texas, to Little Rock, Arkansas, to see this girl. I brought all of these fragrances with me just for her to be able to partake in this experience. And so without further ado, I'm going to be introducing uh, the one and only Savvy Special, okay. Charlene the Savvy, Oh, we need now. Yeah. Charlene, the savvy specialist. Hi, guys. I've been having an amazing time being here with my girl. And like I mentioned, we're super excited to share this with you. We actually sprayed this five, Ten. we actually, 10 days ago. I arrived Thursday night and on Friday we went on a trip, but we sprayed all of these fragrances and experienced them before leaving for our trip and we have our thoughts on them. You do. So without further ado, let's get straight to this video. Let's do it. All right, so Charlene is gonna go ahead and show you the packaging. Ignore the packaging, it's a little beat up because I had to wait to get it all the way from Nigeria, so it was beat up in the luggage, but she's gonna go ahead and show you the boxes. Oh. Also go on IG and you'll be able to see the unboxing of all of these fragrances for you. So this particular brand has two. One is Crush and one is Charm. And that's what they both look like. So now we're gonna go ahead and tell you what the actual scent smells like. So these are strips that we sprayed 10 days ago. This is Crush and this is Charm. We're gonna start with Crush. Mm -hmm. Crush looks like this. I'm gonna let her show you the bottle. Mm -hmm. So this is what Crush looks like. And I'm gonna tell you that on the strip, you can definitely still smell it. It's definitely not as strong as when we first sprayed it, but it's still very much there. I think this is very impressive because it was 10 days ago and the fact that I can still smell it is amazing. And this one is Charm. Mm, I love the black bottle. I definitely can smell it. It's not as strong again as when we first sprayed it, but let's go ahead and respray it. So Charlene is gonna go ahead and spray Crush again. And we're gonna tell you what it is that we smell. Mm. This is actually the one I think that was good in the opening. Yes, I like that one. I remember mm. liking this one in the opening. Yes. Yeah. Let me compare it to the dry down. Okay. Mm. Yes, definitely stronger right there. The opening is very bright to me. Mm -hmm. um, I have these notes. Let's go ahead and share the notes with them. So on the website, the notes are lavender, rosemary, Sicilian citrus, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, amber, and light musk. It does smell in the beginning like it has like a saffron. Yes, almost. I'm smelling the rose for sure. Mm -hmm. The rose is definitely present. Okay, so to me, I feel like Tat Crush is really nice and bright in the opening. Um, it smells like it has more than what it says here. And um, 10 days later, almost two weeks later, I feel like the dry down is pretty, I mean, it's pretty long lasting, but I enjoy the opening more. 
yes I, I agree this one for the mere fact that we can smell it is long lasting I don't know if it's the most long lasting of all of the ones that we have but it is long lasting and I remember liking the opening but not so much the dry down like she said but I did actually do a wear test on this because I wore it the next day but I'm gonna tell you how I wore it so now we're gonna move on to charm and tell you our thoughts on that one and then we'll tell you which of the two we like better the spray is a nice. Yes, it does have a nice spray. I was going to mention that. And I love the bottles. The bottles, I'm not mad at the bottles at all, especially the black one. This one, I love the bottle. And I remember not liking this in the opening so much. Yeah, but I think you liked it in the end, right? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I preferred it more in the dry down. Crazy. Yes. And I think one is more geared towards, this is more masculine. This is more masculine and the other one is feminine. I remember we did say that. So yes. I like the opening of, of charm, no. I like the opening of Crush and I like the dry down of Charm. Interesting. Yes. And I'm not gonna repeat myself, so I do agree with her. I feel like the gold bottle, which is Crush, is more feminine and the black one, Charm, is more masculine, but they're both very beautiful. This one, she kept saying, reminded her of which one? Ombre, ombre leather. leather. Yeah, Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. Um, I wore them separately the first day we tried it on my skin and it wasn't bad. I don't think I was getting as much projection, but when I mixed both of them together the following day, I remember you complimenting me, right? Yes. And you were like, what am I wearing? Mm -hmm. She complimented me the other day because I wore both of them and there I had projection and it lasted actually a really good while. I also had it on my clothes, so it probably boosted the projection and also the longevity. But this one is a good one. Oh, and for a whopping 10,000 Naira each for 50 mil bottles, I don't think you can beat this. This is very affordable. I was gonna say that it performs like a designer fragrance, but to me, I would actually say that this is niche quality. Especially together, this is a powerhouse. So you guys, get your hands on this. I wish I had a promo code for all of these fragrances <laughs> to share with you guys so you can save even more, but just go on their website. And if you follow me on Instagram, I actually shared with you guys a couple of weeks ago when they had a sale running. Please go out there, check Tarte Fragrances, and tell them that I sent you, okay? And even if you don't, just thank me later. Moving on I'm to the next one, she's gonna go ahead and show you the packaging of the next brand. All right. Ooh. I love the Royal Purple. This one is called Beguile, mm -hmm. and this box, ignore it again, it's been through some things. I want you guys to just look at the detailing of this box and the logo. I really love the packaging of that brand from the gift bag to the actual box. You guys wanna go ahead and check my IG reel. You'll be able to get a better look of this bottle. But guys, 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 look at the top of this. I love- Is it weighted? Yes, it's a heavy weighted glass bottle. The top is plastic, but it's still really, really nice. She actually has two fragrances, but she only sent me one of them. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about it right now. Okay. Mm, okay, I can perceive it just a little bit. It's definitely not as present as the tat fragrance. Right. But I mean, you can still smell that it was there. I remember the opening of this, but let's go ahead and refresh it. Sprayer is very nice. Yes. Oh, I remember the opening. Yes, I can smell it already, guys. It I can smell it so already. Good. It smells really, 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 really good. Oh my gosh. It's like a fruity floral. Yeah, she's gonna go ahead and read the notes to you guys. And then I'm gonna tell you what this fragrance reminds me of because when I smelled it, I was like, it reminds me of something. When I said the fragrances, she was like, yes, mm -hmm. that's what it is. The top notes are jasmine, bergamot, and pink pepper. The middle notes are rose violet, orange blossom, peach apple. And the bottom notes are cedarwood, vanilla, caramel, patchouli, and something I do not know, fenugreek? Okay. Okay. Is that a Nigerian thing? thing? No. Friend. Yeah, we didn't know what that one was. We looked it up and it's something similar to Clover. But guys, did you hear those notes? Amazing. Yes. And this fragrance smells so, so good. And so the fragrances that it reminds me of, La Vie et Belle by Lancome mixed with the Le Eclat version mm -hmm. so it's like the two together and i it has orange blossom i believe it, yes, is. it does yes and that's what Le Clot has patchouli the, yeah it has patchouli i think i smell the vanilla it has caramel it's not gourmand smelling it's like a fruity floral mm -hmm. for sure very very intoxicating yes. very nice in the opening beautiful if you want it to last a little bit longer what you do is spray it on your clothes and you'll be able to have some better longevity with it but this fragrance goes for wait for it 
only 15,000 Naira. And that is for a 100 ml bottle. For that price, you can't it's beat beautiful. it. To be fair, it has been 10 days since we did the original test. So not even the most beast mode fragrances last okay. like 10 That's days. That's so true. Yes, there are some niche brands that we have and that we know <laughs> that don't last up to four hours. So I think on skin, it would last you almost six hours. Mm -hmm. And on clothes, definitely a little bit longer. So performance is not lacking by any means. I would categorize this as more of a designer and mainstream fragrance. It's gonna be easy to wear. Very crowd appealing. Yeah, very crowd appealing. This fragrance, definitely multitask. You can wear it all year round. You can wear it to multiple occasions. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to parties. I say get your hands on it quickly. There is another one. I'm going to link it up on the screen right now. It also goes for 15,000. A lot of people who have reviewed the fragrances actually say that they prefer that one to this mm -hmm. one. So I can only imagine what it smells like. I hope she sends it to you because I want to really test this one out. Yeah, me too. I hope <laughs> she sends it to me. So Bigal, I'm going to leave a direct link down below to her website and also to her Instagram page and tell her I sent you and if not, just thank me when you get this fragrances. Now we're gonna be moving to another brand and this brand, ooh, I don't even know how I discovered this brand. Okay, no, I remember how I discovered this brand. If you guys follow Same Day Signatures on IG, she was somehow linked in his page and I went over to her page and discovered that she also makes these fragrances and I read so many good reviews. I went ahead and messaged her and she was nice enough to send it to me. She was actually gonna send me a sample and then a full bottle of Seduction, but she ended up sending me both bottles and guys, these are what the bottles look like. The first one is Beyond Seduction. Seductive Leather. It's the juice, y'all, look at that, look at that. So now we're gonna start with Seductive Leather and we'll start with a dry down and then we'll spray it again. Okay. Oh my gosh, one, two, three. Whoa, it's very deadly. present still. <laughs> like, it's like almost like when we just sprayed it. Yeah. It's just the dry down of when we sprayed it. Mm -hmm. This is like very, present very very <laughs> present that is strong all the sprayers have been so amazing like like oh <laughs> that's a lot of sprays we definitely don't need that but the uh opening is, also a good sprayer the opening is very nice oh my gosh yes, yes. <laughs> this one is one that intensifies mm -hmm. definitely intensifies because mm, on the paper it's really strong like it's stronger than even the opening now the mid notes is coming in heavy. This is really good. This one builds. The opening was very kind of um, sweet and airy, and now it's getting into serious leather. It transitions very fast. Yes. It's smelling like leathery and smoky. The it's initial smoky spray is my favorite. Yeah, the initial burst is really, really nice. It dries them fast. Um, now in the dry down, you can still smell a little bit of the smokiness but the leather is very, very present. And although I think that both of these fragrances are unisex, I think this one leans a little bit more masculine. For sure. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a sexy man. This is more reminiscent of the Tom Ford Umbre leather for me. They're pretty close. Yeah. Mm. This is very, very strong, guys. Mm. I mean, like, it's like we literally just sprayed it. 10 That's days how ago. Good. 10 yes. days, days ago. ago. So just imagine how this will be on the skin. It's going to wear well. Mm. And if you put it on your clothes, forget it. It's going to smell just the same way until you wash it. That's literally what's gonna happen. This is really, really good though. She doesn't really care for it. I love it. And I think I would love to smell this on a guy. A manly man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to the next one, which is Beyond Seduction. Woo! Can the you name, tell? The name Can... of uh, Ooh! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited that she sent me this. You know why? Because she was going to send me only a five mil but she ended up sending me a bottle. And guys, do you see the dent on this bottle? No, no, let me bring it closer so you can see. Do you see the dent on this bottle? Enough said. Oh, I don't even think I need Ten to say Ten days ago. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if we're being honest, uh, no. she might not go back to Texas. No, no, Got it? no, no, no. This is coming home with mama. All right. Beautiful sprayer. We can't forget what this one smelled like. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what this smells like? This is a week in the knees type of scent. Airy, oh, airy delicious. delicious cotton candy, cotton burnt candy, sugar. Does this remind you of any fragrance, guys? Oh, yes. Marshmallow. Yes, it's yeah. so good. Mm. Oh my God, it's airy, breezy, but then it's also still very present and strong. How did that even happen? But guys, this is reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge 540. <sighs> But 
I is it possible? This. I mean, for I honestly prefer this. If I'm going to be honest, I prefer this. Honestly, guys. I fell in love at first sniff. Like, you should have seen my face. Yes. And she smelt it before I smelt it. And when I smelt it, I was like, this is Baccarat Rouge by Mason Francis Carter John on steroids. It's weird that this is a little bit more refined. Mm -hmm. If you know that fragrance, that fragrance is already refined. But somehow, she has amplified it and made it even more refined. How did you do this? How? Please. please. <laughs> she wants to know. We are obsessed with this, guys. Yeah. This is one of those fragrances when you spray it, you just don't want to let up. It's okay. really, really good. Perfumeology 101, you did your thing. And these fragrances are very, very affordable. Bomb. For a 100 ml bottle. I'm going to go ahead and leave the prices on the screen for you right now. Guys, don't walk. Run right now. Go to the link down below and order yours and thank me later. Guys, I'm going to do a separate dedicated video to this particular fragrance right now. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. It's a padded wooden box and you open it like this. I'll have a reel so you guys can watch it. And this is what the box looks like. Trust me, it's not doing it justice right now. So this is what it looks like it's a crown and then the bottle looks like this the bottle actually reminds us of a particular fragrance you guys know it swiss arabian shagaf oud but guys the juice on the inside of this thing like we're going ahead of ourselves because this is just that good yeah needless to say this is been present this is one of the ones that we go to every single day when we're home to go and sniff we sniff it every single day she actually wore it i did yesterday she actually wore it yesterday and had it the whole day she was smelling delicious i kept telling her she smelled really really good guys if you would like to know the notes and my thoughts on this fragrance you're gonna have to go ahead and watch a specially dedicated video just to this one i really really love this one <sighs> You outdid it's yourself. so good. This is definitely niche quality. I'm going to leave the price right here. This one is Unisex mm -hmm. for sure. It's a sweet leather fragrance. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. How is the spray? Did we test the spray? I'm spray okay, so we're going to spray it again one more time. I almost mm. don't want to do it, but we're going to do it for you guys because it's This it's is amazing. for my satisfaction. <laughs> Ooh. Love at first sniff. Did you see that burst? Like, it's still flowing. Like, oh my mm. gosh. It is a sweet leather. I can already smell it. Like, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So good. No worries. No worries. Uh, yes. I'm in love. Yes. I'm completely in love. Okay. Honestly, I saved one of the best for last. This particular brand is called Perfume Hive, and they sell 100% fragrance oils. And I'm talking big bottle fragrance oils. Very affordable, starting from 9,500 and the highest 12,000. Naira. That's it. I'll definitely be showing you guys the bottle. I'll also be doing a dedicated video to this brand because they sent me 10 samples of their fragrances. Five of them were in this size bottles. We try to go online to see if they have it for purchase, but I'll be able to find that information out before I do the dedicated video for you guys. But on the website, we did read that when you place an order, you always get a sample with it. And I believe this is the size of the sample. I don't even know the size of the sample, but this is a mm -hmm. generous amount. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she sent me five of these here in the ones that I requested. So we're not necessarily going to be telling you the notes. I'm just going to pull out the cards that we sprayed 10 days ago. And we're just going to tell you if it smells really good, mm -hmm. how close it is to the original and if we can still smell it on the strip. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So since she has Fabulous in her hand, we're gonna start with that. And also that, that's her scent of the day. So I think she'll be able to tell us her thoughts on this. Yes. This is it on the strip. Very, very present, guys. 10 days later, it is still there. And I am wearing it today. How do you compare it to the to the original? Immediately once I smelled it, to me it smelled like Fabulous. Y'all know, by Tom Ford. Um, I like it. I like it a lot, but I do like Fabulous, so I might be a little biased. <laughs> yes, um, Effin Fabulous by Tom Ford is an acquired taste. So if you like that DNA or if you've smelt it and you like it, then you will definitely like this oil. And I would say that is very long lasting because we can still smell it on the card. And when you yeah. put it on, it definitely projects. I'm talking the whole entire counter where we sprayed this smelled good for the whole 10 days. We were going there like, <laughs> We were going there every day to sniff all of these, and yes, so this one lasts a very long time. 100% oil, 
that's amazing. Now the next one that I have is Creed Aventus. Yeah, this one I can smell it. Probably not as much as the other ones, but it's still present. It's still there slightly. Yes. And, but again, we have to remember that this is after 10 days and the fact that they're still even present, it blows my mind. Yes, me too. Yeah. Now I'm going to go with Good Girl. This is the shoe perfume, guys. You have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl or you want that fragrance but can't afford it. Guys, just run to her website and order this. This is one I can tell you it projects and is amazing because once you spray it, you're going to smell it all through the room. It's on my sister. So Yes, I put this on on my sister and it smelled good for the entire time she had it on. I actually told her to layer it with the actual fragrance. Like put the oil in her pulse points and spray the fragrance. And she didn't even do that, but she smelled like it for the whole day. I even feel like it lasts longer than the actual fragrance. That's how good that is. And honestly, after after testing this out and sniffing it and everything, I literally want to get good girl in my, my collection, to be honest. But if I can get the oil, I will go for that too because the, the oil is like... Potent, okay? Yeah. Potent. I love it. Yeah. She needs to good. try to make me one of her suppliers or her distributors in like America. It. That would be awesome because the only issue is going to be how to get it to people in the States. I'll figure out if she does ship it and I'll let you guys know in my upcoming video. Mm -hmm. Next is Decadence. Oh, this is one of my signature scents. So I know what it smells like. It's there. Still there. Very present there. Mm -hmm. And it smells just like the original fragrance or if not even better. It's very, very present. Yeah, it's still there. Now, this one is Five Christian number one. Still very much there. Still very much there. I'm mm -hmm. not very familiar with that fragrance, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much why I ordered the oil. I wanted to know what it smelled like. I'm impressed by it. You I liked really it. liked it. Yes, I do like it. You like it more than I do. Yes. But it's it, nice, and it's strong. Like, it's probably stronger than some of those that are strong already, so... I mean, if you guys know Five Christian, you know, it's a very expensive niche brand. I think they range from, like... $700 or more, I think. Wow. So, yeah, for a very tiny bottle. So, to have the inspired oil in my collection of shoe, I'm not mad at it. Uh -huh. And I probably will even get a full bottle of that one. So, now we're going to go ahead and show you what the actual bottles look like. Right. These oils are 50 ml. So, before we show you the bottle, this is what the package looks like. And here is the bottle. Okay. They're weighted bottles with plastic cap but they look pretty good. And I think that that will look good on any dresser or in a vanity. Yes, and I'm still in this one because it's the best one. No, she is not. <laughs> and that one that she's trying to steal from me, guys, which she will not be stealing, is Supreme Bouquet by YSL. Guys, I have never smelled this. When I saw the long list of fragrances that she had, I was like, I want to smell what this will smell like. It smells so good, we had to go look it up. And this is probably from the signature, more upscale line of YSL. It's from Le Vestel de Parfum Collection, yeah. Aromatic. That collection. <laughs> it's very, very good. It costs how much? It's $175. Ooh, yes. And I think that's affordable for it. I mm -hmm. love it from first sniff. Mm -hmm. She didn't care for it in the initial opening, but now she can't get enough of it. I, I think can. that... Out of all the oil, this is the strongest one. It feels like it's building and building and building and just getting deeper and, and just getting deeper. So you can only imagine what it will do. I it's amazing it. on the SIM card as well. Yeah, so I think a little of that one will go a long way. So any fragrance that I would like to sweeten up, I see myself layering it with a lot of floral, sweet floral fragrances. And honestly, I'm not like major on florals like that, but this is like the most sophisticated and elegant floral fragrance I've smelled ever it is a decadent floral is not your average floral mm -hmm. is a sweet deep floral sweet deep slightly syrupy this Elegant. is just good this is good it's you're gonna walk sexy. in a room yes it's a lot of, it has a lot of facets to it if you walk into a room you'll definitely be noticed one of the ones that we really enjoy yes now i'm gonna go ahead and talk about amber oud by roja and definitely still smell it this is one of the ones i love i love the amber on it it's really nice to me. She it's doesn't really care for it, but it's really present. You guys know what Roja fragrances go for. In case you're not aware, it goes upwards to a thousand dollars or more. Oof. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually just gonna save the best for last because I actually smelled this actual fragrance in the store today, and I actually have it on. So the next two are from the same house. The first one is Maison Francis Kirk de John Baccarat Rouge 540, but this is the extract version. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. But I love the Baccarat 540 DNA, but this is deeper, more elevated in a different way than the one we talked about earlier mm -hmm. is from the other brand. 
This one is deeper, more juicy. Very, very good. I love it. Very sweet. So it's there. It's very present. I loved it at first sniff. Then it dried down and I was like, this smells like it has a mango accord. To me, that's what comes across. I don't know. I'm not in love with it like I was with the other one we talked about, but this one is good and it's present, y'all. It smells like I just sprayed it. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's the second strongest one. So the first one will be yes. Supreme. Yes. And then Supreme Bouquet. And then the next one will be Rouge at Shrape for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I love it. I'm not sure if the original one has a mango note, so I will do a future video comparing both of them mm -hmm. and layering it with the oil. But she gets the mango note and upon smelling it a couple more times, I do get it as well. But it's beautiful, guys. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about the next one by the same house. And this one we are both in love with. We are. <laughs> this is Grand Soir. I've always wanted to have this in my collection, but this is so good that we decided to both have it in our collection. We're gonna buy it. Yes, mm -hmm. this is a must have. And it's funny that when we first smelt it, it was doing nothing for us. Right. Like, but I think it's probably because we had smelled a lot of heavy hitters. Mm. So it wasn't, we weren't smelling it. It wasn't giving us life, nothing was going on. And that's something you have to learn with your fragrances. Let it sit on your skin, try it on your skin for sure. And if you are or aren't gonna try it on your skin, if you're putting it on the strip or the paper, mm. let it get to its dry down phase and then you'll be able to appreciate a lot of these fragrances. You better preach this is very, very, very good. <laughs> it is guys. so good. So good. So good. And you're gonna be seeing future reviews of the actual oh fragrance for us. But guess what? I have the oil. So mine is gonna be going for days and days on days. I yes. love it. I love it too. Mm. All right, so now I saved the best. And now her best. Actually, with all the fragrances that we have, I don't know how I can pick a best, True. but this is one of the ones that I'm going to be acquiring in my collection very, very soon. And this is by the house of Armani Privé. We actually went to the mall today. I got to smell all of them. I'm going to actually have just a quick little video breaking down all of their Armani Privé fragrances. Mm -hmm. But this one is one of the ones I have to have in my collection. This is so good that I wasn't going to leave Little Rock without going to Armani Privé counter. <laughs> well, this one and a couple others, which yes. you will find out in the future, but oh my gosh, I just want to keep sniffing this. This is really, really good. But the truth is, in summary, Perfume you did that. you did that. To have 100% fragrance oils last this long on your Ooh, skin, so it good. is so good. Um, and, and mostly they will tell you that when you have oil fragrances, it doesn't project because the alcohol is actually what causes it to project. But in my opinion, these project. Like, Projection, yes, period. Yes, these project. You can't go wrong with these oils. And they start from a whopping 9,500 <laughs> Naira to 12,000 Naira. Yes, you heard me right. That's approximately $20 to about $30. So guys. That's a steal. That is a steal. For a 50 ml bottle, the whole entire thing is oil. You're gonna be smelled from a mile away. Yes. And you get a free sample with all of your orders. Guys, don't walk. Run, run, <laughs> run, run, run. To all of the brands I've spoken about today, they are all amazing brands. They're all beautiful brands. And I can't believe that they're not only black owned, they're Nigerian owned. Like, you feel proud. they are doing this. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm representing. I'm so proud. You guys have done your thing. I look forward to many more fragrances from these houses. Let me just go ahead right now and make a public announcement. Any Nigerian fragrance brand out here watching this video, or if you guys who are watching this video know of any that you like me to get my hands on and to review for you, guys please let me know in the comment section or send me a dm on ig and if you're a brand and you would like to send me some of your fragrances please please send it to me and i will do a review for you and if you would like for the savvy specialist to be here with me we will do that for you also so guys this wraps up this video thank you so much the savvy specialist for showing up on my video you Anytime. guys i'm going to leave a link down to her channel and her instagram please go and show her some love and let her know you're from me Come on, join the family. Her birthday is actually coming up very, very soon. Mm -hmm. And all she wants from you guys for her birthday is for you to hit the subscribe button when you go to visit her channel. Please. So please, please do that. And let's get her to 2K already. Yeah. I really appreciate you being here, Charlene. Of You're course. amazing. And I've enjoyed my time being here with you in Little Rock. She's, She's about to leave. So I'm gonna be sad leaving. Face. Yeah, I'm going to be leaving in the morning. Today's Sunday evening and we're filming this for you. In a couple mm -hmm. of hours, I'll be leaving on Monday morning. But... But, I'll be going to Dallas soon. Yes. <laughs> and we will have so many videos for you guys when she comes on that trip. Trust 
me. But it's been amazing spending this time with you guys. As always, please remember to be safe out there. If you haven't liked this video, what are you even doing? Like, right. why are we still having to tell you this? <laughs> please hit the like button. Share this with your friends and your family. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you enjoyed this. If you like for me to do a review on any of these fragrances specifically, go ahead and leave a comment. And finally, join the family. Please subscribe. That's the only way you can show us your appreciation for doing all of these videos. As it takes a lot of work. A yes. lot, a lot of work. Imagine, we started this video 10 days ago just to be able to bring it to you guys. So please go ahead and subscribe. Mwah. I'm going to be talking special. I'm going to be able to see you guys. Okay. Yeah, chili about these first. I'm gonna be talking about so let's. I think, but I think we're also gonna, right? right? But before we do that, <laughs> but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead. So, I'm going okay. So, we're going to start. So, before, and one of them. So without further ado, we're going to go straight to why you're here and we're going to start.